Yes, nice idea. Mm, I like that, yes. Do you like it? It's called Ark to Noah. Well, you've heard, of, no doubt, of Noah's Ark, and he had to rescue the kingdom of animals in Noah's Ark. Perhaps he had a sister who was uh, a more of a botanist zoologist, and she wanted to also rescue from the Greek floods the plant kingdom, and this is the result. Well, there might have been the old squirrel or two up here, but I picked this up in Hamburg, oh, about 1991, I think it was, and I've had it hanging on my wall ever since. Slightly mournful of the fact that I can't remember ever seeing it referred to in history books, so it's been overlooked like so many artists' works, I suppose. But a nice one, very nice idea. So I've got a number of my tree toys to show you. That's really an introduction to the tree toys. It's not a toy, but it's something that stimulates my mind for toy collecting. And these are some of the more interesting toys which show trees and things that operate with them. This is a strange one because if I keep very quiet and still, something is going to happen. Let's see what happens. sudden movement and they leap back into the trees. Extraordinary, isn't it? There's a little cell here underneath which detects the slightest bit of movement. Let's do it again. Again, extraordinary. Tiny bit of movement, and they all dart back into the bushes in the undergrowth of the trees to um, to escape danger. I suppose it is a very very nice idea that. So a super thing for showing at many parties. I've shown that. At. Let's get some more typical toys of the trees, tree culture. Out. This is one I made in Austria. It's, uh, it hasn't been out for that long, actually, but it's got a lovely name to it because each of these actually is a spinning top, would you believe? I'll set it on a spinning to show you what I mean. It spins quite nicely, too. And they've got such a good name for this because that could be the top of a tree with other branches, but it's been cut off. So they call that a tree top, and that's what it is. It's a tree top, and now you see it is a top. So I'll set them all three spinning if I can. Made by a company in Austria that's been making tops for a long, long time, and I see them every year at Nuremberg. And I love the packaging too for it. And when they finish spinning, you put them back on the log where they sit, waiting for the next person to pick them up and have a go. Isn't that splendid? Very nice idea from an Austrian company. Here's a strange French toy I picked up about the same time, actually, I think. This is most peculiar. It's a box with a lid with something inside I'll show you in a moment. And it's showing a tree we think that's been cut down because it's got cross marks there. And it's um, having a little sad reminiscence about its life, former life of the tree to a friendly hare that's acting as a shoulder to cry on. And it talks about the days when it was tall and stately and proud and helping to um, house owls, for instance, in its younger years. Oh, and now look what it is, a little tiny scrap of a thing left over, just a bit left over. So it's quite nostalgic, really, looking back in the past. Lovely idea, that. So they made about three or four boxes of this highly surrealistic stuff, showing something quite whimsical, some of it, some of it highly surrealistic. And I bought three of them, and they are the most unusual of the stories in my collection, I think, but it's certainly on trees, too. Here's a more obvious tree thing, but um, it's palm trees, and it's a little it's actually a little holder for ballpoint pens, because would you believe these little palm trees, coconut trees, are pens? Well, this is 40 years old, so the ink's long dried out, but I'll see sometime if I can get in and put a new refill in it. But each of them is actually a little pen attached, and this little fella is standing waiting to be rescued, or perhaps he doesn't want to be rescued. He's quite happy to sit on his, his, his little island alone. A nice little thing to put on the desk, it looks very pleasant. And if the pens are fresh and new and working, you can also use them to write with, so that's a good one. Now, much bigger trees were something I came across in San Francisco, my first visit there, about 30, 40 years ago. And just across the Golden Gate Bridge is Muir Woods. 
when you go there, you see the first taste of these gigantic redwood trees, which I absolutely love. I've got many books, picture books on them and articles about it in, in science magazines. And also, helpfully, in the, uh, in the, in the, in the Mill Mill Woods in the office there, they've got a, a tourist place where you can buy you can buy some redwood trees if you want to. Well, you, this is redwood trees. Well, yes, all right, it's the, it's the seeds for the redwood trees. The seeds are there, mounted in there. You take it back, stand back when you planted it, because you've only got 2,000 years to stand aside, and up to come this thing here. Just 2,000 years? Well, not, what's that between friends? It's actually a postcard you can send to people. So they helpfully give you a chance to send some redwood trees to your friends, well, in a seeded form. Nice one. I do love those redwoods. Magnificent monsters. Absolute monsters, but beautiful. And here's a charming little thing which is actually a, a puzzle, it's a dexterity puzzle, with a Christmas tree, and these little, little balls, coloured ones, and you've got to follow the pattern, and the red one, which is red down there, number one, has got to go in the hole that's marked red. I found when I was doing it, which is very tricky, I have to say, that when you come into the middle somewhere, and they find the right hole just by sheer chance, if you press it down with your finger, got to push it down hard, which says it, there we are, I grabbed it. In that sense, sitting in a hole, I can hold it like that and squeeze it, because this is plastic, not glass, and it's got a bit of flexibility, and it's a card. And I found that trick, using that, squeezing it, uh, and then squeezing two or three, uh, was a much easier way to actually solve it, and I did eventually manage to do it. But it's a postcard as well, and it's of a Christmas tree, and it's just missing its baubles, and you've got to provide the baubles in the right order, and so on and so on. Nice one, that. And then there's this extraordinary thing here, which is actually a plant pot, but I think we might consider it to be a, uh, a bonsai tree in the making. This is a lovely bit of packaging here. It's, um, it's got some plant growing in a plant pot, and it's called Greenus Soxus. Yes, it's a plant called the Green Sox, and that's exactly what they are, gardener's socks inside. What a lovely idea. And very witty. It's a packaging idea which I've never seen before, and I think it's a well. Apart from that, and they also did a gardener's love for the same idea, but this is more realistic because that's green, as if the leaves coming out from the soil. Some new plants are about to grow there, which could equally be a bonsai or anything. And it's it comes up, and it's actually the packaging for yeah, for green socks. And here's the last one, which is made in France. And I picked this up about 30 years ago. This is a beautiful concept. It's just a very simple mechanical thing, which I love. It's got marbles, which are three colours, blue, green, and orange. You set them up on the ramp, and then this farmer picks up the tr the, each of the apples as they come off the tree and puts them in this little array, which I'm picking them up from. And they're going to go back into that array. There are numbers there, actually. And you set them going, you just put them down like that and make it go. And they drop down here smoothly. They sort themselves into the holes too. Oh, that one hasn't. Let's give it another chance. There we are. That should go in there. Isn't that a beauty? Very, very nice idea for a tree. And I've had that for many years. I have to keep it in a special place because I can't put it in the cases. But it works every single time. Uh, and it's so well designed and so simple. So a few of the tree toys. I've got a feeling there's a few more to pick up, actually, because I've only started looking at tree toys. But I do like the idea of having a tree theme to the toy world. And these are good examples.